I suppose it got started when I was around uh, nine years old, maybe. When I was a kid, I used to go in Queens and look at all these records, you know. It was an incredible period to be a kid in New York because you were constantly bombarded with amazing music. We had like subscriptions in, in, the, in the US where you would send in a penny and uh, you would get 10 records. Look what's coming in your mail. It says get 11 albums for only $1 when you join the Columbia Record and Tape Club. Terrific. And that was fun, you know, that, that was a lot of fun as a kid. That's how I got, you know, influenced by different styles of music and, you know, New York City dance culture. I grew up being a producer first. Uh, my first love has always been equipment and making records. I've been making records since I was 16, 17. In order to understand what the crowd is going through and what you need to do on the dance floor, it's advantageous to you to become a DJ. There's no better person to make a record than somebody who's producing and who's a DJ. And that's what kind of pushed ahead my decision to become a DJ. I think it's a, an amazing thing that this is happening in stateside with Sensation. Nothing like this has ever been done here. I see the new vision that's coming up, and I get it because that's where I come from. Commercial EDM at the moment is a rock concert. I want it to be about the night, about the groove, about you dancing with somebody that you want to be around, you know? It's about getting in the groove, locking in, and dancing like your life depended on it.